Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss that will help you make your Excel spreadsheet visually appealing and easy to understand. We will be learning conditional formatting in Excel. Conditional formatting is a powerful feature in Excel that allows you to format cells based on specific criteria or conditions. It helps you highlight important information, identify trends and analyze data more efficiently. Let's begin by understanding its basics. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. We will be learning how to create a drop down list by data validation and then apply conditional formatting on it. I will guide you step by step process so don't go away and watch this video till end. So this is the worksheet on which we are going to apply the conditional formatting. Here you can see that we have items, rate, quantity and the amount. So first I will create the list by using data validation. I will select this cell under the item and then I have to go to the data. Under the data I will go to the data validation, select data validation and from here I have to select list and then I have to select the source. After selecting the source I have to press OK. And now you can see that we have a drop down list under this item. So we can select different items from this list. After creating the drop down list, we have to apply conditional formatting on it. First, we have to select the data on which we want to apply the conditional formatting. So we will select this data from the table. And then we will go to the home tab. And under the home tab, we have conditional formatting. Then we have to go to the new rule and we will select the last option that is use a formula to determine which cell to format. And then we have to select the first item and then delete this dollar before the row number so that you unlock the row. Then you have to press equal and the drop down cell address and then we will format with the color that we like and press OK and again OK. So now you can see that if I select headphone from the list then the headphone from the data is highlighted and if I change to the mouse the mouse is highlighted and again if I change to laptop the laptop items and the, their rate, their quantity and the amount is highlighted. So you can easily switch between different items and know about their data. Now what if I want to apply another rule on this data. Now again I have to select the data and then go to the home tab. Under the home I have the conditional formatting. I will select the new rule and select the last option. Then I will select the value for example the amount and then delete the dollar sign before the row number and this time I want to get the values which are greater than 3000. So we will write greater than sign and then 3000 and select the format color that this time I select yellow color press OK and this OK. So now you can see that the items in the list which are greater than 3000 are get highlighted with the yellow color. After applying this conditional formatting, you may want to remove, edit any conditional formatting. So for doing this, you have to go to the conditional formatting and this time you will select the manage rule. And then you will select this worksheet and you will see all the formulas which are being applied on this worksheet. You can edit any rule, delete any rule or apply a new rule on it. Conditional formatting in Excel is a fantastic tool that helps you present your data in more meaningful way. By highlighting cell based on specific criteria, you can easily spot trend, identify outliner and make important insight at a glance. Whether you are working with a scale data, financial reports or any other type of spreadsheet, conditional formatting is a game changer. So go ahead and unleash the power of Excel's conditional formatting feature in your own project. Don't forget to experiment with different rule types 
color and formatting options to create visually appealing and informative spreadsheet. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Until next time, happy formatting.